pi. In this problem, we are given an array of length n and we need to make it non-increasing. That is for each element, this condition should be false. That is a of i plus 1 should never be greater than a of i. Okay. And we need to calculate the minimum number of operation where we can increment or decrement each element by 1. So both are both have equal weightage, both operations are considered same itself. So we have 3, 1, 2 and 1. The possible scenario is we convert every we try to convert everything to 2. So 3 and then this one would be converted to 2, then 2 would remain and this would remain. So basically we required two operations. Then the next one is we can try to minimize this one. Then it would become 1, 1, 1, and 1. And the number of operations required is 1. And if you do this on a pen and paper, you would find out that in between all the possible combinations, the, mi the minimum number of operations required is 1 to make it non-increasing. So, what we can do is, we can see that in the previous thing, we wanted the minimum element occurred till this point. So, we want the minimum okay we want the want the minimum and then modify current modify the current element this is what needs to be done okay so now how much we would modify and when would we know that which one to be modified or not so now in this scenario let us try to visualize the resultant array so in the resultant array, if we have 5 and then we have 6, then there are two options to make it non-inclusion. Okay, either we make it both equal or either we make it that it is decreasing. So we can say that this is cheaper than this. So what we would do is we would find the minimum occur till this point and we would modify the current and make it try to make it the minimum only we won't try to make it less than minimum because now it would become one more minimum and it would again create one more problem like suppose i would show you like if this is 5 6 and 7 so if we try to make this element as 4 then this element would need to need to do how many operation three uh, three operation to make it four so three operations here two operation here three plus two zero to five now, if we try to make it all equal, then what we will do there? This would be 5, 5, 5, here 1 operation, here 2 operation. So, this is a lot cheaper. So, what we would do is, we would try to find out the minimum occur till this point. And after that, if we are modifying that element, that means it might be required for some future. Okay, because if we mod see, after this modification, this element is required. So, we might require this element also to make like this element. This is what we can do. So, to do this, to find out the minimum occur till that point and the minimum is changing. So, basically, we want dynamic minimum at each point. So, the first thing that pops in our head is set or priority queue. But set won't work because it would store the unique element. So, we would take help of the priority queue itself because we need to pop the minimum element also because after the minimum element work is done we would pop that and we want to insert it okay so now what we would do is now let us begin the implementation so this is a mini priority queue mini because we want the minimum at each step this is to store the number of operation this is to store the difference between the minimum occur till this point and the current element now we would start the iteration from the first element itself so int i is equals to zero i is less than n and i plus plus so by the way even if you don't remember the syntax of min heap in this what you can do is you can just multiply it with minus one before inserting and again multiply it with minus one after extracting and that that default priority queue which is the max heap would be converted to min heap by this method okay so now the first check should be done is suppose there is only one element so there is nothing to compare so we would simply say that if the priority queue is not empty okay and suppose it has elements to compare and pq dot top element okay pq dot top is less than 
a of i okay now what we would do is difference is equals to a of i minus pq dot top element okay then we would pop because this work is done pop and then we would insert this also because the current element because we might require it for future reference because it might bring us a less value okay now we would add the sum okay and then what we would do is again insert pq dot push so whatever even if this condition is not true this if condition is not true this would always run and we just need to return the sum so let me again check so this is true and this is yes and this should be done itself let me see compile and run okay and yes we got an ac thank you and have a nice day